You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lanier, your host, and today we have a familiar face to Brockton viewers. We have my good friend, Mary Walden. Mary, Hi, welcome, Mark. good to see you. Thanks for having me I'd again. reach over and give you a hug if I could. <laughs> um, you have another great event coming up. You have the We Care Hope Fund fundraiser. That's but right. We'll just call it a fundraiser. That's right, right. we do. Um, tell us about it. Well, this will be the third year that we are holding this event. Um, it came by way of um, a reach out from Signature Healthcare, um, patients that they have coming there that need assistance. Um, you know, when I went through my treatments and I had a lot of friends and family able to, you know, bring me food and take care of me and bring me to my treatments, uh, there are not as many people who have who have, are as fortunate as I am. And so they have this fund that, um, uh, that they've grown, that they've started, and um, we grow it to provide resources for patients, whether it's um, food or transportation or their oil bill. And as we know, electricity rates have really skyrocketed. And some of these patients have to make a choice of either food or treatment or other things. And we just don't want that to happen. We want the quality of life. So that's it started as a partnership between uh, Signature Healthcare and myself and Casey. And... Um, and again, we raised um, about eighteen thousand dollars last year from the from the event. All of it, one hundred percent, goes toward uh, the services for our patients. Now, I know a really good guy named Joe Lupica, uh, who's a great uh, DJ, who helps everybody out. He's a very yes. charitable individual, so he's doing the entertainment. He is. He is a one man show entertainment that can go on for days and days and days. Um, he is the most generous person of his time and his talents. And uh, he dresses up, he does quizzes, he does games, mm -hmm, he gets mm -hmm. people dancing, he gets people laughing. Um, so that is the entertainment for the day. It's, it's, again, it's a fun event. It is a party. It's a party. It's celebrating life for those who survive. It's celebrating the life for those that we've lost. And, um, you know, there are a couple of tears that get shed along the way, but as Joe, Joe has, um, has had some loss in his family as well. And so we are, uh, we've partnered together with Joe. It's held at the Shaw Center. Mm -hmm. um, the Shaw Center and the Rocks are um, sponsors of this event. Um, the Rocks are, um, provide our, um, our, our food for the day, for, mm -hmm. the, for the night. Mm -hmm. and, um, and again, it's a Friday night. So like after you've had that long day, you know, we're getting right into April, right? When everybody really, we're ready now. But, um, but it's an, a Friday night where people can just kind of let their hair down, celebrate, and, um, and have some fun. You got smarter. It's Friday, April 17th. We're not in March. We're not oh. in February. We're not in January. Yeah. I remember first year you had a It was snow. February. It was you supposed to be like a like yeah. a Valentine's Day get together and the blizzard hit back then, um, two years ago. So Friday, seven, April 17th yes. is the Friday before Marathon Monday. That's correct. Okay. That's correct. Six yeah. o'clock, Shaw's Center. Yes. Um, 18 and up. That Correct. is 18 and up. It is, um, um, we obviously are having um, alcohol beverages as well, um, but there will be food provided. Um, there is a, a, a donation, there is a ticket, and we can talk a little bit about how they can do that. But there is a price that goes along with it. But again, um, we, we, all the, the uh, donations, we have raffle prizes, and um, we had more raffle prizes than you can really shake a stick at. And so basically, you walk in the door and kind of guarantee that you can at least get something. Uh, you go out for a pizza nowadays and it's the price of the ticket and you right. got entertainment, you have food, you have raffles, you can't beat it and it's local. You don't it's have to local. drive into Boston, you don't right. have to park any place. Right. So how do people get tickets? So there's a couple ways. Um, it is there's From the Brockton Hospital Foundation, they have a wecarehope.org website. Mm -hmm. I'll repeat that again, wecarehope.org org website and um, there's a Facebook page um, my personal Facebook page the Mary Waldron um, we'll share it on the just checking in Facebook page because mm -hmm. it's a partnership with um, the foundation in my husband's memory um, but there is also you can call um, the um, um, the, the foundation's number and it's 941 I gotta put my glasses on for this uh, 7179 508-941-7179 um, and you can just even email. Um, we set up a, um, a Gmail account, and it's um, the Mary and Casey Hope at gmail.com. And we have a lot of our, I've got a great team. If you notice, uh, our, uh, 
We have vests that were made um, by uh, Holly Whitman, who used to work for the foundation yeah. last year. Holly um, provided our team, a, uh, um, our, our committee, uh, some vests. Um, and it's Martha Ross. Mm -hmm. um, it's Belinda. Um, I'm going to forget Belinda's last name, Felton. Um, Janice uh, Fitzgerald from, from the, Council, the Council on Aging. Okay. And um, I've got, oh, and Sue Hayes. So there's a number of them that will be out in the community. Janice is going to, she, there's not too many people that Janice let go without having You the, can't <laughs> say no to Janice. You absolutely no, can't say no, no to Janice. So there's community members will be kind of getting word out in lots of different ways. And, um, you know, certainly it's a cause that, that everybody um, has been touched um, in, in one way or the other. Well, if you think about even elderly care, helping your parents and stuff like that. Um, you know, this has been a tough winter, okay, as we all know. Yeah. I mean, people are dealing with roofs and snow and ice dam That's removal right. and That's stuff right. like that. So you're talking, the utilities went up 37%, like you're yeah. saying. Just a, a friendly face and a friend to help when you're in need, when you're in a time of trouble. You, you, you always, I always say you find out who your friends are at certain times in life. You really do. And, um, you know, since Signature Healthcare is a community hospital, and we have two hospitals, we have more than that. We have the VA as well as um, the Brockton Neighborhood Health Center. You know, we all work with each other, and obviously um, this fund is specifically as it relates to Brockton Hospital as a community hospital. But, you know, we've, we've found ways of helping a number of people, and uh, the idea is that, it is, as you mentioned, in terms of the snow and getting out and, and just paying whatever bills there are to, we all know that what it's cost to remove snow from, from roofs. So, you know, it, it, um, it's come at a time where we all pitch in a little bit. And, and as you mentioned, it's just before the, um, the marathon. So we'll, we may even tie something in with the marathon as it relates to that. Two minutes left. Yes. You and I can talk forever, as, yes, we, as we know. Um, you're a survivor. I am a survivor. Why is this so important to you that we, we, we continue doing it and we help other people? You know, Mark, um, there is a friend of Casey's who goes to Bridgewater State University where I work, and she was uh, sharing with me a story about how she had lost a number of people in her life. Um, she was applying for an internship at Dana-Farber, so she wrote in her, her um, letter to Dana-Farber why she wanted to be, um, be involved, and she said, you know, she had so many people who lost her life, and yet she knew me through Casey and knew that we always have to look at how we can either give back. Um, I have been blessed to survive. Um, we need to continue to work with people. Um, I saw firsthand going into the clinic when I received my treatment of those that didn't have rides, they took the bus, um, or they some of them walk because that's the only modes of transportation. Mm -hmm. We can't allow that. We just can't. And, um, and I think that if we figure out a way um, to help them, this is, in fact, the way that we're going to do it, through raising funds or resources to continue to help those who are less fortunate. Well, we're glad to help. We're glad to help promote it. And we're glad that you're such a wonderful ambassador to get the word out and keep the cause going. Well, Brockton Community Access is, a, is uh, without you doing this, that I think that many people would not hear about the many things and good things that are happening in Brockton. So thank you for allowing us to be here today. You're welcome. The good thing about cable is we can repeat ourselves. <laughs> it's a good thing. <laughs> that is. Um, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.